Sweet family, welcome. Welcome to Sweet Annie's life. My name is Annie, and if you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Now today, we are going to look at an awesome recipe from my hometown. It's our national drink. It's the drink that we welcome tourists with when they come to Barbados. It's the drink that is in every bar in Barbados. So, but before we do that, this channel deals with a melting pot of things. And I deal with faith, hair, skin, in the kitchen with Annie, which could be anything. Um, bringing awareness to herbs. It is so much things. This is just a melting pot channel. So, but as I was saying today, the recipe that we are going to be looking at is going to be a strange recipe, seeing that I just said that I deal with faith. And that is our Barbados rum punch. A few people were asking me about making this recipe, so I really wanted to share it with whoever is watching. Yes, this recipe is a super, super simple recipe, so I really do hope that you enjoy it. And first thing I am going to do is I'm going to let you know what my ingredients are. And there is a little strategy to rum punch as well. And the strategy is one part sour, two parts sweet, three parts with the spirits, and four parts weak. So that is the little thing to our rum punch. So, but I asked my daughter to come on this. Um, I asked her to come with me to do this recipe and she refused. Once again, she refused. So you just have me today. And as I always tell y'all, you have me. I hope that you enjoy me. All right, so let's look at the ingredients. But I'm still here. <laughs> let's look at the ingredients. I have some limes and some lemons here. It's about 10 or so because I am doing one part sour. So my one part is going to be probably a cup. I mean, you could do your one part as half a cup. You could do it however you want it, but my one part is going to be a cup. I have the um, things to squeeze my lemons. <laughs> and normally what I do, I, I make my rum punch a little different to everybody else because you know how it is with Sweet Annie's. Sweet Annie's love red and she also loves to change up things. So for the weak part, I would normally, instead of putting just plain water, because some people put just plain water, I don't. I put some pineapple juice, some fruit punch. I do not have any fruit punch because I couldn't get any fruit punch here and I'm not buying the artificial one. In Barbados, we get the fruit punch. So I have fruit cocktail. So we'll make our own fruit punch. And then I normally would put um, some grapefruit juice as well, but I searched all over and there was no grapefruit juice. So we are just going to have these two, the pineapple, the fruit punch, and then I'm going to put um, the third part as uh, the fourth part with some water. So, and this is some distilled water that I'm using. All right, and this is the sweet part. And as I told you, it is two parts sweet, 
and this is our simple syrup I normally make my own simple syrup because it's really quite simple I used to sell this rum punch in uh, Barbados when I had my when I was operating my business so and I, and I made my own simple syrup and people loved my rum punch and right so that's the simple syrup then we are going to be using some nutmegs as well and for these nutmegs for these nutmegs you have to make sure that the shells are still on because I bought some nutmegs these nutmegs came all the way from Barbados so I had them for a while but um, but the ones that I bought here I realized they didn't have the shells and they had no smell of the nutmeg so obviously you have to take off the shell because a certain person used to see me use nutmeg and they didn't realize that I used to have to take off the shell so and I'm talking about one of my children. They didn't realize that I used to have to take off the shell. So they were grittering the nutmeg with the shell on. Then boosted the shell cracked. And they both had a laugh about it. So the next item, actually before I look at this one, the next item we are going to look at is the star of the show. And this is our Bajan Monkey Rum Punch. And it says Barbados Rum. And it is our Eclipse Rum. And I know y'all are going to be saying, well, you call yourself a believer. But I do have friends. No, I can't. <laughs> I do have friends that are not believers. So these are going to be special gifts for them and because i'm planning to do my famous eggnog for you as well um, but now we are going to be looking at angus jor angus jor bitters now this is what gives the rum punch the taste that it needs and this if you're making some plain old lemonade because in Barbados, we used to put this in our lemonade as well. If you're making some plain old lemonade, you can put this in the lemonade and it will give it an awesome, awesome flavor. Um, so I had a lot of trouble to find this here where I am because this is not really an American thing. But I had a lot of trouble finding it. I had to go to quite a bit of... Um, the stores that sell alcohol so those are our ingredients you see how simple that is all right so let's get started i am going to be making it in this this is just my good old punch bowl and uh for those of you that are from barbados know about parties when we have parties and stuff the punch goes in here and there's a ladle in there and these are the little punch bowl cups so you know people just take a little bit of the punch and they have but normally their hooks their hooks that would hook on the cups as well so that's just a little thing that we did and my my daughter is learning as well because she doesn't know about anything like this so let my get. lemons and they're all washed my lemons and my limes i washed them in some baking soda water to get off all the thing and, and for those of you that know me i'm going to use these lemons but i'm going to find something to do with the rinds i'm not going to think so the first thing i'm going to do is to squeeze squeeze my lemons and I am not going to keep you up with this. I'm going to squeeze it off camera. Okay, uh, we are finished squeezing our limes. That This is only seven lemons. 
seven lemons that I squeeze here so I still have the skins everything and I have a couple lemons left so as I tell you it is one part sour so we're gonna put that in our bowl and then it is going to be two parts sweet but before we go any further this is my pineapple juice and this is my fruit cocktail it doesn't really look like fruit punch but we'll see how it goes <laughs> um, it's all strained and everything so let me get our sweet so it's two parts sweet and then three parts strong and four parts weak so we're dealing with a cup so that is one cup of one cup of the sweet so it's sweet um sour and weak um strong it and is strong? it is no it is sour 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 one part sour which is the lemon juice and then we are going to have let me get the rest we are going to have two parts sweet which is what we are dealing with now two parts sweet. and then after that we are going to use the sure. alcohol which is three parts strong so we're gonna put three parts of alcohol in this and if y'all wanted to use a sorrel simple syrup or what you can do so to give it some color because I don't think mine is gonna have much color because I don't even have any red dye. All my red dye is gone. So that is one. And we are going to do three of these because it's three parts strong. Well, I haven't like smell alcohol in so long. It smell like if you want to make me drunk already. Okay. And I hope that y'all are enjoying this recipe so far. You know me, I like to give, bring recipes for you and put them to, it's, it's always a spin with me. You having a hard time breathing over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's look at, she's laughing at me. She didn't want to be on the camera. She wanted to be on the camera, then she didn't want to be on the camera. So we are gonna be looking at the pineapple. I'm gonna put two, cause it's four parts of the, the light. So I'm gonna put two of these. Um, I wish I could taste it for you, but I'm not sure if I can taste it. <laughs> And then, yeah, but you don't want to be on the camera, so. No. And then I'm just going to use one of these, just in case. Just one? Yeah, just in case, because it's, uh, it's a lot, it's not as, uh, it's a lot runny. So, just in case. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the other one as water. We should have used a little bit more, because... I don't know. Oh, and another thing I did mention, I'm going to be putting them in these nice little bottles because I'm going to be giving them to friends for gifts. So these are eight ounce bottles and I put them in those nice little bottles. And now I'm going to use the distilled water as the... That's the week. This is weak. So the distilled water is the fourth one. All right. Just one cup of distilled water. Yeah, because I put um, 
I put two of the pineapple, right? I put uh, one of these and I put one of the water. All right. It looks good though. Uh, it looks really good. I hope that y'all can see it from here because it looks really good. Can I taste it? No. And our next thing that we are going to do is we are going to put in a couple dashes of our Angostura bitters. And voila, our rum punch is basically finished. One more step. And what I like to do, so to give it flavor, a lot of people, a lot of people just put the nutmeg on top when, you know, they sprinkle it on top as a garnish. But I just put a little bit of nutmeg in it so that when it sits, you know, it will get the flavor of the nutmeg. So I'm going to crack this nutmeg now. If y'all heard me crack the nutmeg, because I want to show y'all, I want to crack it on camera to show you. And, all right, everything all right? And that is how the nutmeg looks after you crack it. So I am going to be gratering it on this side of the grater to make it fine and then because i'm giving these for gifts i'm putting it actually inside the punch but if you were like drinking the punch at the same time they like a lot of the barmen just garnish it with the just garnish it with the nutmeg and if you smell the aroma of this nutmeg. Huh? Hmm? Oh, I was saying the rum punch smells really good. Oh. But if you smell the aroma of the Can you smell it? Nutmeg. Me grater in it here. Oh wow. Now That's this good. is our fresh nutmeg and I choose to use fresh nutmeg because I do not like the ones in the bottle. I bought I bought one and it has no smell, it has no nothing. This but if you could smell this. It smells like a perfume. <laughs> Not Meg nice. perfume. Alright, so this is going to be one teaspoon that I am going to be putting in. Um And I'm actually putting it in the rum punch. I know it's going to leave a little bit of grounds, but it's going to give it some flavor. And then what people normally do is sprinkle it to the, um, to the top. Sprinkle a little bit more to the top to just garnish. So, our rum punch is done. And I am going to get something now. We are going to scoop it out. And I can't find my label for fit ladle for my punch bowl. So I'm using a soup spoon. And once again, I hope that you enjoy this recipe. If you enjoy this recipe, just you know, give me a like, a share, and subscribe, and that will be greatly appreciated because that's the only way these recipes can get out to and make. I'm just giving her a little bit um, to taste for me and tell me, but it looks great. Look at it in my little punch bowl. Anybody would think it is punch. Well, it is from punch. <laughs> Yeah, punch, punch, though. It smells really nice. Yeah, it does smell nice. That's the bitters, and that's everything. How does it taste? Wow. Huh? That is dangerous for me. Really? 
it tastes really good. It tastes like juice that's dangerous. If you didn't see the alcohol go here, you would be taking. You wouldn't tell. Well, you that's can a little bit, but that is dangerous. So it is. It is good. I'm tempted, but a sip. I'm gonna take a sip. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Wow, it's wow. Good, good. This is this is good when you put it on some ice. Wow, mm -hmm. this is good really good it doesn't even taste like if you have it alcohol but y'all saw me put alcohol in it right okay all right so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna bottle out these things and we will i'm just gonna bottle out these things for you we will be right back hi sweet family so we are finished with our rum punch and this is the way how it look these are my bottles for some friends and this is our rum punch on ice with a little lime and the cherry to go with it as i said it's one of our bajan cocktails and the tourists love this bajan cocktail so um i am going to be taking one little taste for you and see so the cherry is here we can take the cherry drop it right in the cup and also take our line and drop it right in the cup and then have our beige rum punch the nutmeg is also on top i don't drink anymore but this is good. This is very, very, very good. Very, very dangerous. It's very, very good. <laughs> so thank you once again for joining me. And I hope that you enjoy this video and that you would share this special drink with your friends because you can make it um, now on your own. And once again, I am Annie, and what I always say, spread the love, and thank you so much. Have an awesome, awesome day.